digital stickers are super popular, especially on Etsy. Most sellers sell bundles of digital stickers all at once, but who has the time to create all of those digital stickers? I'll show you a quick way to create 200 digital stickers in under 30 minutes. Make sure you stick around to the end. You'll learn how to deliver all of these stickers to your customers efficiently. So let's hop over to Canva and I'll show you how to create bulk stickers really fast so that way you can get your product out the door. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new design. So I'm gonna create a custom size and it's going to be 1000 by 1000 pixels. And the next thing I wanna do is find a good color palette for my stickers. So if I'm ever unsure what type of colors to choose, I like to search for color palette under Canvas templates and they'll give you tons of really great ideas for unique color combinations that work really well together and that are cohesive. So I'm gonna go pick this neutral palette and then click customize this template. So it's going to open up a new design. So I'm just going to copy these little color swatches and then paste them into my design. So I'm gonna add a new page. So now we have our colors. So I'm actually going to just grab this color paste it here. So that way I have the actual color on my document. So if I select my background for my actual design, click on the background color, this color will come up. Just delete that. So now we have our first color. So I'm gonna press R on my keyboard because I wanna add a subtle border around the sticker. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of padding on all four sides. Click on the little color swatch so this way we can remove the background color and then we're just going to add a border. I'm going to change that border to white and the next thing we're going to do is add some text. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard and I just want to add a basic affirmation. So I'm actually going to go into ChatGPT so it's free to use if you just sign up for a free account and then I'm going to ask it to list 50 affirmations about positive mindset. And then I'm gonna put between three to five words. Don't add bullets or numbers because we wanna paste this into bulk create without bullets or numbers. All right, so now that it created all 50, I'm actually going to copy this first one and then I'm gonna go into Canva and just paste it here. I'm gonna choose a really nice serif font. That's kind of nice, so it's called DM serif display. And then I'm actually going to make it a little larger. Let's do like 72 because I want it to be on two lines because the majority of them will probably be on two lines. Tighten that line spacing. And then I just want a little bit of extra padding on the text box. So that way, just in case we have a really long word, it won't get cut in half. And then I want to add a little star at the top like this little guy, make it actually a little larger because this way we want to make sure it's visible when we add it to our digital planner. Go back into ChatGPT and I'm just going to click and drag over all of the affirmations to copy them. And then back in Canva, I'm going to go under apps and do a search for bulk create and then click enter data manually. We're going to clear the table and just paste all of those affirmations. And up here in the title, make sure you put a title. I'm gonna select quotes. Then we're gonna select our text, right click, connect data. And then we're going to select quotes. So this was the title that we gave our bulk create list. And you'll see it successfully selected the actual list of quotes. So we're gonna click continue at the bottom. Now it's going to list all 49 designs. Click Generate 49 Designs. And it's actually gonna open in a new tab. I have the Canva app, so it actually opens in a second tab up here. And then if you go through it, you have all of your really nice affirmation quotes. So I would also go in and just double check all of them and make sure they're nice and aligned, centered. So if we select Grid View at the bottom, we could see all 50 stickers. And I'm going to label this Beige Sticker Set. So now we're going to download them. So under share, click download and then select PNG. And I'm gonna click download again. So here are all my PNGs. And now we're actually going to duplicate this file three more times and just easily change the color. So we'll have a set of 200 stickers total. So under file, make a copy. And then I'm gonna go back to that original color palette and copy this dusty rose color, paste it. 
select the background, click background color, then select the color right here. And before you do anything else, you want to click change all down here. So it's going to change all the colors throughout the entire design. I'm actually going to make the color a little lighter and then click change all again. Now you could see we have two different sets. If you'd like, you could actually go in and update the fonts on the second version. So if I select a font, I'll click change all and they will change all of the designs, which is pretty cool. And then you just want to go in and then make sure some fonts aren't getting cut off. So I'm going to save this as pink sticker set. And again, download it as PNGs. Now I'm going to copy it two more times, go back to my color palette, and then I'm going to pick this stone color, paste it in the design, select the background and select that stone color. Then click change all. And I'm also going to update the font. So I'm going to select Lou bag and then click change all. Keep in mind when you update fonts, sometimes some fonts are bigger than others. So you might have to just go in and adjust things like line spacing. Then under share, we're going to download these as PNGs also. And then for the last one, we're actually going to select this ivory color. Let's just space that out a little. Now I have my fourth design and I'm going to download all of the PNGs. So we were able to make 200 different affirmation stickers in under 20 minutes. So you can go ahead and package the PNGs. So what I usually like to do is just put them all in one folder and then I'm going to zip this folder. So this folder is called affirmation sticker set. And if you want to deliver these to your customers, what I usually like to do is create a new folder in my Google Drive. I'm going to call this affirmation sticker set. And then I'll add my zip file to this folder. So this is the folder that you're going to share with your customers. So before you actually share it, make sure you do this really important step. Under the name, we're going to click on this little arrow and then we're going to click share. And then under restricted, make sure you select anyone with the link, then copy link. And then let's head back into Canva. And the way I usually do this is I always send my customer a PDF and I make sure I add that Google Drive link that we just added onto the PDF. So this is a delivery template that I use for all of my designs. So I'm going to select the little button and then under the three dots, select link, then paste the Google Drive folder that you copied. Click done. So now this button is a clickable button and then you would add your logo. You could put an image of one of your mock-up listings if you're interested in seeing how I design my mock-up listings, especially for something like stickers. Let me know in the comments. And then once you're done adding your content, you would just go to share, download, and then make sure you click PDF standard. So here is my PDF opened. So if I click on download right here, it'll take me directly to the Google Drive folder where I could just easily download them. If you want to learn how to make a digital sticker sheet, check out my course, Create Planners with Confidence. And you also get to learn how to design lots of different digital planners. I left the link in my description. Go check it out.